Welcome and hello. This is Caffeine Zombies with some bite-sized news. Today is July 16th, 2024. Trump picked his vice president. That's not unusual, but what has been unusual is who it was. J.D. Vance was the pick, and he self-described himself as a never-Trumper in the past. He's analyzed and criticized Trump's allegiance and policy decisions on more than one occasion, mirroring in a lot of ways the critiques that many on the left have of Trump. This has changed much since his Senate win in 2022 for his current seat. He has most recently blamed Biden and his administration for the assassination attempt of Trump, for instance, while the Biden campaign has been critical of the pick by saying that he would have allowed for the illegal actions of certified and fake electors had Vance actually been the vice president January 6, 2021, instead of Mike Pence, who upheld the Constitution. Which, of course, would have been another reason Trump picked him. Loyalty over lawfulness. More than likely, neither of these things really weighed in on Trump much. If anything, he's more of a personality person. Vance has been on TV, Trump calls him good-looking, akin to Abraham Lincoln, and they talk on the phone nearly every day, according to Vance. Trump gives off the impression of doing things because it feels right, not because it is right. And for Vance as a pro a point for him in his favor, He's worked across the aisle from time to time, and reviews of his books do show that he did a good job analyzing how the white underclass has helped to drive modern politics and win the 2016 election for Donald Trump, even though he said of Trump then, Trump is a cultural heroine. I think that he's noxious and is leading the white working class to a very dark place. And now he's part of that dark place. But if you'd like to find a home in a very new dark place, scientists have uncovered a cave on the moon. Well, not yet, good earthling. These caves have future astronauts living in them potentially, but not regular folk like you or me, at least not for a long time. This cave isn't terribly long. It's only about 130 feet wide, which is pretty big, and described as just tens of yards long, probably more. That's the whole point of it. Folks are already looking at this site really as a potentially great option for a moon base, which means that's right. Futurama has become reality, and soon we'll be robo-farming up there. Nice. Another great thing scientists have done recently is create a new malaria vaccine. Just the second one created, and its predecessor was only six months ago. Having more options is great for the world, as demand for this vaccine is likely to be incredibly high. This also helps to keep prices contained. The new vaccine from the Serum Institute of India is offering the vaccine for less than $4 dollars a dose, and it's been approved for young children already, which is all great news. In Africa alone, malaria kills about a half million children under the age of five annually. Every year, about the same amount of children as people who live in Wyoming die. I can't emphasize this enough. The entire population of Wyoming, just as children, die from malaria. Science fucking rules. And science can't help itself, just saving lives like a gangster. Speaking of original gangsters, pancreatic cancer is about to be taken out. How? Science. Geneticists have figured out that there's a gene that would normally slow the spread and growth of cancer, getting turned off by pancreatic cancer. That's nuts. That's like if a bee could, like, make you allergic to bee stings before it stung you. The gene in question is HNF4A. And that's the hero of the hour because it slows the spread and growth of cancers like pancreatic cancer. And scientists are looking at the mechanism of how HNF4A is actually shut off by this disease. That's so they can develop future therapeutics that can replace the function or turn that gene back on to increase the survival rate of those afflicted with the disease. I can't say enough good things about scientists in these fields. They're just amazing. Someone I can't say anything good about is Thomas Matthew Crooks, the shooter who attempted to assassinate Donald Trump and did end up killing a supporter and injuring two others at the Saturday rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. Not much has developed since Saturday, but some things have been confirmed. Thomas M. Crooks is a registered Republican and has been for multiple years and is reported to have donated to Act Blue only $15 at 17 years old. Uh, in 2022, it's also been reported he unsubscribed to their newsletter, separating his any kind of connection with them. The shooter has also been seen in shirts supporting a pro-gun YouTube channel titled Demolition Ranch, whose founder has, of course, distanced himself from the shooter as much as he can, which would be expected. 
and Thomas M. Crooks has also been described as conservative by his classmates as, well, definitely conservative, they said, as well as smart and respectful. And at the home he shared with his family has been reported having pro-Trump signs in their lawn, though they may or may not have been his, but it certainly was a family uh, projection, right, um, or perspective. The FBI also has discovered a cell phone uh, that he had on him at the rally during the shooting, and that is currently being sent off to analysis. If they can get in, they're hoping to find more about the motivation. Uh, in a lot of these situations, it can just end up being the unsatisfactory answer of person got stressed, it broke them, they did something to get attention, or just the target of whoever was there when that sort of situation broke, because otherwise people have just sort of described him as a nice kid, we'll hopefully know more in the near future. Oh, and of course, Jack Smith, the prosecutor, uh, spe special counsel prosecutor, is going to appeal the documents case against Trump that was canceled uh, by Eileen Cannon, the judge, because of course he is. It was a silly ruling. If you want to know more about that, see yesterday's bite-sized news for all the historical reasons as to why it's silly. Till next time.